And I'm Keegan and sleep deprived from San Francisco, California. I'm Liliana from Russia. I'm Kyle from New York City, New York, USA, also sleep deprived. And uh, we made a film this week called Invisible Cities. Big shout out to Stefano and the rest of the crew. Thank you very much. Um, we hope you guys enjoy it. May I? Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Yes. Oh. And you work here uh, at the bar? You work here? No, I'm not too bad. Okay, I'm just gonna level with you. I've been traveling through Europe for a month. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> I was low on cash. I am low on cash. And I got on the train. I didn't buy a ticket. They found out. They threw me out <laughs> here, so. <laughs> Where the fuck am I? <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you do you want me to help you find a place to stay? Uh, no. Um, I'm I'm gonna catch a bus in the morning. So okay. I was thinking of just pulling a before sunrise and wandering around. So. What? Sorry, what? No. I'm. Uh, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, I don't need a place to stay, but are you off work or uh, or you want me to show you around? Yeah. <laughs> but you know there isn't much. There's nothing else. <laughs> Okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, you can leave your stuff in there if you like. Perfect. Thank you. Kyle. Sophia. Where the bus taking me in the morning? If I make it. Mm. If you make it. Rome. And then? Then that's it. If every good thing goes according to plan, I make my flight home. What? Uh, for how long did you say you have been in Europe? A month, give or take. That's a miracle. Yeah, that's a miracle, but now I have you to help me see it through, so. Yeah. You know, I, I actually was a tour guide. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Like, in Rome for a year, but it was a scam. How so? Mm, no, 
know was license and some people they just made things up. Got it. Yes. And you? Me. Mm. Okay. <coughs> Here there is a cute little shop with the knickknacks and the souvenirs. Okay. And right over there there is a place where Garibaldi took a piece. That's where he took a piece? Yes. Wow. And there there is a future McDonald's. You don't sound disenchanted, not one bit. Not at all. You'd convince me. You're the type. All right, fair enough. So, are you at the university? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what do you study? Music, production. Yes. And you? No, I work. That's why you came back here? From, from Rome? Yeah. No, I, I grew up here. Really? Yeah. yeah. Actually, right over there. Add it to the tour. Okay, more stuff. So, how do you like Sabina so far? Mm. <laughs> One night? <laughs> not bad. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, well, it's a beautiful city. Well, I think I can... Another 20 minutes, I'll have a better answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, here. Also say good night. I could I could stay for a little while, but do you do you wanna have a seat? Sure. You know, I don't think it's just the shops and the McDonald's and the empty commercialism. Okay, the McDonald's, yes. But I don't know, the way the world is changing everywhere, the, the way that places like this are changing, don't you think it's an unintended consequence of travel? You know, you see places like this 20 years ago and they're beautiful and authentic and you love it so much and you come back again and again and then you tell your friends about it and then they tell their friends and then it destroys it replaces it with the shops and Sure. But it's also a more general paradox, isn't it? Everyone loves to discover artists before they're popular. And then you share it because that's part of the rush, and then you lose the same, you don't have the same intimate relationship anymore. Maybe, but how much of that is just in your head? Would you rather see a concert from the back of a giant stadium or 10 rows from the stage? Okay, I got it. I got it. So, you're saying that if we have a great time tonight, you will never tell anyone about this, your friends, and we will never see each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. what I was saying, yeah, yes. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 I get it. Okay. Why music? It makes me happy. Why scamming? <laughs> it made me money. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. But I think we're talking about different things. Mm-hmm. Like 
there is a real world and then I think there are stories we tell ourselves about it and how do you tell the difference? better be just this has got to be like a tr buried treasure <laughs> so this is your little piece of room <sighs> uh, does this even count as subpoena anymore i told you it isn't much My family and me came here when I was seven years old. I speak Romanian, Italian, English, French, all fluently. But every day I serve people who can't say a sentence in a second language. And, and they're all terrified of the story changing and the cities they made up and their minds changing and they blame me and my family for this, just for existing. But they would put a gift shop in front of the church and they would fill every country with the same store, with the same restaurant, until every city would be the same city, except, except for the story. That's the difference. Where did Jonah? What? I was stressed out when we met. I didn't realize it was bothering you that much. Okay, okay, it's okay. This is different. I know you're not. <laughs> what time is it? Just past. Plenty of time. 